Most people who visit Taos barely notice the homes scattered on the other side of the gorge. And why would you? They're kind of nondescript. Until you get closer, notice them, and notice what isn't there. No fossil fuels, no nuclear power plant, no needs. Those needs stress the government, they stress the individual with the money, and they stress the planet. These are Earthships, the brainchild of Michael Reynolds. Nobody does without anything. They have ice cubes, they have plants growing, they have big luxurious baths, whatever they want. The entire ship, which admittedly looks otherworldly, is built to be off the grid. They are solar powered and wind powered. They handle their own sewage, and no, it doesn't stink inside. Water is caught on the roof, stored, used and reused. It's enough even in the desert. See, we're playing both ends against the middle. We're increasing the water that we're catching from the sky and decreasing the amount of water we're using by using that water four times. A forest of indoor plants filters the water again and again all year long. On television, it's hard to show you the way temperature works in an Earthship, but it does work. Right now it's a hot day, maybe 90 degrees outside, but as you walk through here and get a feel for the bathroom and its greenhouse, and then into the place where you'd actually do most of your living, it cools down to 70 degrees. It stays there year round. The secret is old tires packed with dirt and formed into walls with the help of, you probably already figured it out. I could not have invented a better brick uh, than cans and bottles. And here we produce them by the billions and throw them away in every country. Mix in some common materials, concrete, wood framing, floor stones, and it's a home nearly like any other, except for the look and the utility bills, maybe 50 bucks a year. It's bound to make it easier to make it through some of these coming decades to start living like this as fast as possible right now. Sooner or later, Michael Reynolds figures, a whole lot of people are going to notice the houses on the other side of the gorge. In Taos, Matt Grubbs, KOAT Action 7 News.